uh, so let's now talk about the dashboard. So basically, now we are seeing more and more um, dashboards that are being generated each single day. And also most time that they are designed online so that uh, people can click um, those maps or those charts and also to interactively uh, fill out the data. So uh, dashboards, generally speaking, should pass a five second test, okay? So that means that when we design a dashboard, uh, your audience should understand the the story, the basic story, within five seconds. Otherwise, um, it is not a success dashboard design. So um, there are some tips of the general principles uh, to pass a five second. So first is that the layout that most important views goes top or top left. So many studies shows that when we people look at the dashboard, so this area is the, the, the part that we start from, okay? So put your most important part to the top or the to, to the top left, okay? So if I divide the dashboard into four regions, and this is definitely the number one, that's the most important part. If you are using legends, legend go near to the viewers. So in this case, we can say we have, do have a map, proportional symbol map, and put a legend that is next to this map, okay? So the, the viewer can uh, make a quick reference to the legend. So do not put the legend somewhere, someplace here, like a user need to, you know, um, go back and forth to identify what you're talking about. Okay, and avoid using multiple colors, color schemers on a single dashboard. So you can see here, we are choosing the same theme, the same theme. So like we're using the uh, orange, yellow, um, blue, etc., to represent those colors and make sure that you are using the same colors on the other visualizations. Especially when you are representing the same features. So, for example, uh, if on this dashboard you are representing, for example, um, this place using this dark orange, and you should use the same color for this place uh, on the other on those two line charts. Okay, so that will make that will save time for the audience to digest uh, your visualization. Use less viewers. So viewers mean that number of visualizations or the number of elements. So in this case, we have three viewers. Okay, one, two, and also three. Okay, use five or less than five viewers in your dashboard. Otherwise, your dashboard will be overly uh, complicated. And lastly, and also, this is also very important, provide interactivity. Uh, especially that when we are going, when we create online dashboarding. So when I click these locations, and hopefully that the other charts will update it and to visualize, uh, to represent, to to display the information of this location only. Okay, so that that means that we should enable filters on those dashboards so that when we click a specific uh, time range and also all the other charts will only re will reflect that specific time range only so that user can explore the data easily. And also keep in mind that always ask your questions that do you have uh, some topic that you want to see, okay? And try to sell your major topic. And also for each single chart, is that really the best way to display the information? We mentioned that there are several types of visualizations, several types of the maps. So did you choose the right, the most appropriate type of visualization uh, to display your information? Does everything add values? Okay, uh, so do not add visualizations because you can. You should only add those items because they are necessary. Okay. And also provide interactivity. Okay, so enable filters if possible, and also provide clear labels. Okay, and also here are also uh, more guidelines. 
and so that have an idea before you create those visualizations. So have your um, concept of what, how you're going to uh, convey your ideas first, and then start create those visualizations. And also you should have a hierarchy uh, with harmony. Okay. Uh, so for example, so your title should be the biggest one, and also uh, you have the second level of headings, and that is can use a title for each individual charts, and also for the and also you should use the same font uh, uh, for all the labels, etc. And also, I, I really like this sentence, so that a map or a dashboard should be considered complete when nothing can be removed. Okay, should be complete when nothing can be removed. So, um, make sure that keep as simple as possible of your visualizations and do not add a lot of unnecessary elements. Okay, maximal information at minimal cost. Okay, so map design should allow complex spatial relationships to be understood at a glance. So the five second test. Okay, always keep in mind that keep it as simple as possible. And also engage the emotion to engage the understanding. Okay, so all the well-constructed maps are always a kind of art, science and also art. Okay, it is a science and art. So to be honest, when every time when I was trying to teach uh, data visualization, let's see how to design dashboards and also how to design maps. So I feel like it's it's really hard to teach you to be a good designer. So uh, it's something kind of like a gift. Okay. Um, so it's re really hard to learn to be a good de designers. You have to create and you have to practice and you have to do some things that uh, to gain to gain experience as you are doing more and more practice. Okay, so do create maps and also learn uh, the mistakes from your practices and also gain your experience. And also, judgment is very subjective. So that some people may like your design, some people may not like your design. So if you have a very important project, um, I would always recommend that prepare multiple plans. And in the real world, uh, it is true that your clients may always like their design that you think is the worst. Okay. And the lastly, again, so design is, is not something that can be taught. Okay. It is really, really something that you have to uh, create uh, maps, visualizations on your own, and also you learn um, those best practices by doing by doing some hands-on jobs. And also, it's also very important that you should see a lot of good examples. Okay, so you cannot design anything without seeing any examples that in your hand, in your head. Okay, so if you have an empty head, you cannot design. So those are some websites that have a lot of great visualization examples. Um, and also in geography, so there are also a lot of competitions in map designs. And I would highly recommend that go to check those websites and also look at those um, winning maps and also learn from those maps and also see that how they create those maps. So that might inspire you in your own creations, in your own designs.